Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to do race 34 of 36. Three races left into the season. I'm here at the Sawmill Speedway for the running of the Lumberjack 325. And today I have qualified fifth. Let's see if I could get my eighth win the season today. Welcome everyone to Mill Valley, California for coverage of today's race, the Lumberjack 325, live on MRN. What can you tell us about this track? Well, as road courses go, a sawmill might just be the toughest one ever created. Several tight turns and a steep drop in the final quarter mile leading into pit road. That's going to keep this one interesting right down to the end. The 82 car is going to be a force for the championship with his impressive finishes. Yeah, I'd say he definitely is a favorite each and every time we come to a road course. His crew always works hard making his car fast, and man, can he drive these tracks. go folks 19 laps here at Sawmill the green flags out we're underway Okay, 
Didn't get off to a good start here on this first lap. Dropped a couple positions. But I can still rebound from it. So that was the completion of the first lap. Wow, did I just pick up sixth place like that? I will tell you, I, I like this racetrack, but it is a tough racetrack to race on. I mean, I like it here. It just looks so interesting, you know. You're just racing around the woods and everything. It's just a neat track, but it is very difficult. Well, not very, but I should say it is up to its difficulty. I do like racing here, though. Oh, the last three races, folks, are going to be fantasy tracks. Uh, we got Sawmill, of course, this race. Then the next race will be at Tiburon Raceway, you know, the big super speedway where you, actually you get to turn right at that track. You go in reverse, go the other way around on at Tiburon. And uh, Timberon, that's what it's called. And then the final race of the season is going to be the... Uh, the uh, classic Daytona Beach uh, track that they first ran on, you know, like in the beach, in the sand. Oh, there you go. Hey, what? I can't seem to catch this 30 car. I'm trying. All right, I'm catching a little bit here, though. Yeah, it's very hard to pass here, too, I would say. It's very hard to get, um, I mean, this, this field gets spread out easily, pretty quick, at this track. Oh, well, let's go on board the lap here at, uh, Sawmill once we get to the start-finish line. I was on board the lap at Sawmill. Uh, looks like we got a car slow on the track. If you look on the map, uh, on the other side of the track, um, there's a car slow. You can see in the bottom right corner of the map. Looks like there is a car slowing down. I'll tell you, I'm moving up slowly. Not much, but it's slowly. Right now, I'm trying to get up to Bill Elliott. Fifteen to go. This is going to be a long race, too. Nineteen laps yet at this track. And the lap times you see right there, that's basically the same uh, round the lap times you run at. What was that, Bill Elliott? Well, I didn't mean to take him off, but he braked. Um, he just came to a stop. I gotta watch this video again. Then Bill Elliott came to a dead stop in front of me. Look what he did in my hood. Oh my god, Bill Elliott. You fucked hard. Oh. God damn it. 
I Bill Elliott came to a dead stop. If you watch again, he just came to. He just went so slow in that corner. And I didn't know he was going to go that slow in that corner. I had no time to react. He just came to a stop and then bang, I hit in the back of him. And I became rivals with him. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't really need rivals at this track. I didn't mean to run in the back of him. He just, he just stopped. Don't stop here again. Yeah, look how slow he's going through here. He's going so slow around that corner. And then he's going to come and hit the wall and almost drove right back into me. Oh, come on, car. I had him, and then you had to turn right into the wall, did you? Why did my car break? Oh, my God. Fuck, no. I'm not going to pass. What the hell is going on here? My car braked on the straightaway. No. Look how slow he's going. Oh my god, look how far behind I am now on third, first through third. Son of a bitch. I wasn't that far behind them. So, Bill, I don't know what's, on, what's wrong with you. But why don't you go up to full speed instead of braking, slowing down the... Um, 100 miles per hour slower than everyone else, where I have to run in the back of you. Damn. Look at the damage he did on my hood. That's totally ridiculous. Never expected him to break that much in front of me. He's just slow. I mean, you saw how slow he is. Alright, that's 12 to go. I, I still have time. 6.4 seconds back though. It's very hard to get up to someone here at this track though. So this might take a while to get up there. I'm trying to go after my 8th win. I haven't had a win in a while. I'm trying to get one today. Like I said, it's very hard to get around this track. I'm watching the field gauge. Shut up. Anyway, I was going to say before before I got hit in the back of Bill Elliott, you know the lap times that you see down there. My fast laps are 108.86. That's basically around the same lap times as... You know, we have a caution. Alright. We got a caution on the track, folks. Don't know where it's happening, but we do got one. All right, what happened? What happened? Christopher Paul, he was having a good, wow. How did that bring out a caution? Oh, it's like in TG inside line all over again, watch. Yeah, he's still going. That's just like you techniques right there, you know? All right, I'm in the pit here. Alright, here we go. Alright, folks, so making our pit stops, that was a weird caution. And let's see where I come out after this. No mistakes, please, because it's hard to pass. Dang, look at the damage on my hood. My front bumper and everything. Jesus Christ. Alright, gonna come out third? Not bad. Okay. While we were pitting, those guys up front stayed out. Who stayed out? Someone stayed out. All right, green flags out. Mm -hmm. 
No, Bill. Oh, no. You're going to be a dick, aren't you? Okay, I got around him. That's good. Got eight laps to go in this race. Holy crud, Johnny Benson went pretty slow in that corner. You can see how slow they're going, guys. I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, you don't even really have to slow that much down. Who's the lead? Who's the leader? I'll find out in a minute. Sterling Myron is the leader. You know, he actually won the last race at Phoenix. Looks like he's out front again. Let's see if I can get up to him, and as soon as I pass him, I'm going to try to pull away because I want my eighth win. It's been a while since I had a win. I won it today. Seven to go. It's gonna be hard to get up to him though. I'm not even gaining on him. Anyway, I would I tried to get to this twice, but the earlier slowed down for me, but then the car came out. So uh, see the lap times down there? 108, 86. It's basically around the same lap times like at Watkins Glen. But Watkins Glen was a nine lap race. Here it's a 19 lap race, so it's like why in the world did you put 19 laps here at this race? Except for a pretty long race, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, right? Hey, I don't mind it. I like this track, but still. Joseph, what are you doing? Cutting through the grass there. Oh my god, I can't seem to get up to Sir Marley. I lost ground on him. Oh, come on, car. Get to him. Six to go. Oh my god, I want to get up to him. So I want to win this race. So last time around I was 1.2 seconds. We'll see after this lap how much I gain or loss. Hopefully I gain and not loss. Oh my god, get up to him. I ain't gaining much on him. Jesus. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Alright, let's see. From 1.2 to... One second. One second. One second. Just five to go. Oh my god, I need... I need to gain about two tenths on him each lap if I'm gonna have a chance. I gained on him a bit there, but he just pulls away off the corners. So I was one second back at the line. But I can't gain on him much. Kind of pathetic. Because I know I'm faster than him. Oh, I gain much on him here. Oh, come here, Sterling Marlin. Get your butt over here. Here we go. I'm I'm getting to him now. And before he pulls away right there. Son of a bitch. So from one second to 0.9, damn! I ain't gonna be much! Four to go. Oh, my card doesn't get tight. Halfway on gas. 
Mm, come on, get to him. Please. I'm just desperate to get up to him. Cause I'm getting there, but ugh, it's just so close. Oh, I gained here. I'm right there at him now. Oh, and then he pulls away. How does he pull away like that? Oh my god, I was right there on him. I did, basically didn't gain any ground. Three to go. Get up to him! That's it. I'm going to use some of the share draft. I'm going to get up to him. Tight car. Got folks, I'm pushing it as hard as I can. I mean, I. Uh, Best place uh, for him is in your rear view mirror. The hell, he ain't nowhere near me in my rear view mirror, okay? So shut up. Oh, come on. I can get to him right here. This is where I'm, I'm the best at. Oh, here we go. No, really? Get around him! Oh, I'm tight here. I got around him, finally. And I'm gonna be off the track. Are you kidding me? Get away from him, please. Alright, folks, got the lead. Two laps to go. And you see how slow Sterling Marlin went up there? You see how slow Sterling Marlin break through there? That's what Bill Elliott did to me when I got in the back of him. Just didn't know he would break that slowly. Wow, I am pulling away now. Alright folks, looks like I have a chance to get my 8th win the season right here. It's been a while since I got a win. Wow, did I pull away? Didn't expect that. I thought it would be close, but damn. Well, this race has been is. Okay. Well, this race is better than the last race. I tell you that right now. Anyway, this race is better than last race. Remember Phoenix on the first lap? I wrecked. And couldn't rebound much. I ended up 16th. This race is better than Phoenix. It's been a while since I've won. I mean, last few races I've been on a slump. Doesn't look like I'm going to be on one today. Which is awesome. It will be me that will get it. Alright folks, coming off the last corner. Looks like I'm going to pick up my 8th win this season. As I'm going to win the Lumberjack 325 here at Sawmill Speedway. This one's over. We're first. Don't forget to mention the sponsors of Victory Lane. Hey, you mentioned me too. Alright. Let's celebrate here. Wow, where's the spin, car? Come on, there we go. Let's do it in the grass some, why not? And I just blew the motor, just as soon as I was finished. So I picked up my eighth one in the season. About time. Alright, 
Alright, where's my pit box? There we go. And there we go. Not very many caution laps in this one. Well, I can assure you all those guys who finished in the back would like to have seen more cautions. Gives them a chance to make adjustments without the penalty of going a lap down. They just didn't have that luxury this time. The 82 car never even got a scratch in this race. Well, it's going to be a happy crew when they get back to the shop. They can immediately go to work on next week's car without having to worry about fixing anything from this race, and that makes for a much less stressful atmosphere. The 82 car has begun a new rivalry on the racetrack. You don't make it into Winston Cup racing without being competitive. Sometimes these instincts get a little out of hand. Should be fun to see what happens next. All right, time to go to victory lane. Not a scratch on the car? What are you talking about? Look at that! Look at that scratch on the front! Jesus. So, yep, here I am in victory lane. Alright. Yes! Nice, nice, nice. All right, look at that trophy. It's awesome. That is awesome. And there I am at victory lane. All right, let's check the results. Oh, well, oh uh, yeah, okay. Lost rival with Bill Elliott. Still rivals with Dale Jarrett, Bobby Labonte. Then none for Jeremy Mayfield. Yes, I unlocked Sawmill. All right, so... I win, Sterling Marlin 2nd, Johnny Benz at 3rd, Bill Elliott 4th, Kurt Busch 5th, Sterling Marlin 6th, Jeremy Mayfield 7th, Jimmy Johnson 8th, Ward Burton 9th, and Jeff Burton rounds up the top 10. Show you the point standings. Alright, so you are the point standings with 2 races left. Uh, I am now leading the point standings by 230 points over Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch 30 points, 4 with 3 back, Jimmy Johnson 4th in points, 533 back, and Dale Knight Jr. rounds up the top 5 with points, 641 points back. And rounding out the top 10 in points is Kevin Harvick, 1,026 points back. Here's the top 15 points, Ricky Rudd, 11th, 1,043 points back. Jeff Gordon, 12th, 1,119 points back. And Mark Martin rounds up the top 15 points, 1,239 back. Um, two cars did fall out of this race, Kevin Harvick on lap 4 and Greg Biffle on lap 7. So those are the only two cars that did fall out of the race today. So folks, after I picked up... A win ever since I haven't won since Tala the Talladega Road Course race where I picked one one up today. All right, folks, two races left. The next race is going to be at the Tiburon National Speedway for the running of the Tiburon 500, race 35 of 36. We will see you there.